Right guys, welcome back to, this one's gonna be a more in-depth kind of update on where I currently am at. Um, I think I always say these things on these update videos and then I get through them in about two minutes and give you no information. So I've made some notes to try and be as thorough as possible. So if I'm glancing down at my phone, that's why. But right now we are um, just over four weeks before the end of this planned push phase. I say planned because there is well, obviously, if things go tits up in the next four weeks, I'm not going to plow on regardless, but there's also a couple of weeks leeway if I'm feeling like an absolute trooper to push a bit further. But as it stands, I think I've got four weeks left in me. That then leaves me an eight-week cruise health phase, pre-prep, whatever the, the cool kids are calling it these days, before I then enter prep. And that prep will be 18 weeks till the first show, which is the Italy show beginning of September. So that's my time frame, and that is where I currently am at. Body weight is holding in the 350s. I was 351 this morning. I had a little bit of a blip over the weekend. The first time I've come into some difficulties with digestion. Sunday, I don't know if it was a bug. I don't know if it was just my body saying, you know what, I need a fucking break from eating so much. But I woke up Sunday feeling pretty rough. I had quite a loose day on the old uh, bowel movements front and I only managed two meals and I think what's important to kind of consider in those situations is I've made the mistake in the past by pushing food in and thinking no 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 you know if I don't eat I'm going to lose weight I'm going to lose my gains bruv but all that does is puts unnecessary stress on the body and is likely to prolong that period and really kind of add some days on to that stress so I just had two meals, I listened to my stomach, and from Monday, although I still felt a little bit vulnerable, I got all my food in and all my food in's been since there. Obviously I'm at the point of my off season now where one day where I don't hit my calories means I drop weight. I dropped five pounds, okay? So I was back down to 347 Monday morning, and then since then it's pretty much been about, about like a pound, a pound a bit a day till today on Thursday. So all is good, these things happen. I, I'm not certainly not one to kind of worry about it. You know, the main thing is that I've strung together now. I think this is the third or fourth week of consistently above 350. So if I can continue to do this, maybe add a couple of more pounds slowly, you know, I'm already at the heaviest I've ever been and I'm holding it. And I'm, I'm holding it, dare I say, a little bit more comfortably um, there. So the, the current setup of things, I don't think a lot's changed since I gave you guys the, the full day of eating. So training day calories are around about that six and a half mark, non-training day about five and a half. I'm um, still doing my cardio six mornings a week, um, training five times a week, the same split. Um, nothing really changes um, on that front. The past, it's happened two weeks in a row now where I have considered having a deload and backing off. I haven't had a deload in a long time. I went through a phase of kind of planning them in, but I've been a lot more, uh, I'd say probably smart or intuitive with my volume distribution. And I haven't needed one, I felt like I've needed one. The past couple of weeks, I felt like, oh, maybe I need one. But then at the same time, being me in the back of my head, I'm thinking, am I just being a little bitch? Do I really need one? So I've gone into the week kind of thinking I might have one if today doesn't go well, but I haven't. Everything's been spot on, training's beginning to continue to progress, I feel good, um, and I'm really, really, yeah, happy with how things are, 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 are sitting. So that's that, current niggles. Again, you know, it's part and parcel at this stage that something hurts all the time. Actually, touch wood, everything except my ankle, whatever's going on down there, um, is feeling great. You know, my shoulder is pretty much, again, touch wood, cleared up. My push sessions are great, my pull sessions are great. My leg sessions are compromised, but they're still really, really hard. So I've just had to, um, like I can't put too much load through, um, like in pressing movements. So there's a lot more tempo stuff, a lot more um, isolation work, but I'm still blowing my legs up. I'm still getting a hell of a good session in. I took one of my clients through what I'm currently doing, the week just gone, and it destroyed him. So I know I'm working hard. I don't know what else, you know, that's all I know. I, I know either how to work hard or, or not to bother. 
Um, so I'll take that. It's a bit frustrating because I'm hobbling around, but again, grand scheme of things, I'll take it. I suppose if, if I have to have something, I'll have that. And fingers crossed it kind of clears up soon. Um, so I think that pretty much covers like the, the fundamental, like tangible basics. Mentally, I'm feeling pretty good. I have days where I'm just fed up of being tired. I feel tired, I feel unproductive all the time, but I'm still getting what I need to done. And I accept that this is part of the process. Um, I don't think anyone pushing their extremes of their body and being heavy is going to find, you know, day-to-day -day life overly enjoyable. Um, but, you know, uh, it's all made easier by the fact that this is my final push. After this, I will be entering my cruise. Body weight will start coming down during that. And then it's going to be really interesting to see how I feel, you know, at 3.30, at 3.20, at 3.10. And, you know, I don't set body weight targets, but I would certainly like to be a 300 pound bodybuilder on stage this year. So that's all to come. Um, I appreciate that the videos on off season kind of vibe is fairly monotonous, but at the same time, I want to give you guys a very real insight into you know, the lack of glamour and the, the, you know, the simplicity of bodybuilding. It, on Instagram, it might look great, you know, showing snippets of hard training, showing snippets of when people look fucking ripped to the bone. But the vast majority of the time, it is repetitive, it is monotonous. And if you don't have the right mindset, it can be quite boring. But I love the challenge, I love the process, and I love the sport. And to be honest, after competing, nothing will change. So I think that's a pretty conclusive update. I'm not gonna say any more, to be honest. Um, I'm good, I'm excited, I'm positive. That may only last for another five minutes, but for now, I'll leave you with that on a good note. And um, yeah, anything you wanna see in the videos, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, let's keep growing the channel, take you guys through prep with me and, uh, and beyond. So thank you again for all your support and I will see you in the next video.